Guys, we had yet another glitch last night. Um, we were online. If you had not spent your pre-order points, right, your 4,600, you really... Oh, they took it out. Um, sorry, I should have recorded this last night, but I was tired. We streamed until like 1230 and I, uh, I gave up. Um, but the, there was a conference stories pack for 4,550 points. It was a fantasy pack that actually gave out um, a guaranteed 88 plus um, season one player again, again, again. For this like second time, third time, whatever it is, um, we have a like unlimited amount of these 88 to 90 overall players. It is absurd how many are on the auction house again right now. It's just wild. Um, you'll see here we'll pull up Jugkins, who's a stud by the way. If you don't have this card, it's wild. But bottomed out, right? The place floor is at 510,000. They are locked in here. There are over 100 up. So even if you have them, you cannot sell them. You can try one sells every couple hours. So not uh, not great for anybody. Let's take a look at the corners real quick, though, because um, I know they're all locked in as well. Johnson here again, you'll see 510 locked in. There's a gazillion of them. Um, and then our 90, same thing uh, with the, the highest, the highest, the best player in the game is locked in at the floor. How many are up right now? Let's see. There are over 100 burdens up right now um just locked man it's just there's nothing you can do about it it's insane if you have the coins i don't even know if i'd recommend buying it because the floor is there so we're kind of stuck these were intended to be like some of the most rare cards in the game to start off um and they are just flooded on the auction house again from another glitch outside of that though we were actually making a ton of coins yesterday working the auction house for the first time in a long time courtesy of the new programs right the ua sets not sets uh but the the cards themselves you'll see the 82s locked in here at 19 2 yesterday they were a bit higher i think they're around 25 um so you were able to flip just the 82s but the 83s you can flip around here and snipe these they're going to be bottomed out at 30k right you can find a bunch around 30k maybe not a bunch maybe I'm over exaggerating there a little bit but if you buy these at like 45 47 000, you can indeed sell them for over 50 000 coins a piece um, not a bad flip. There were a ton out there yesterday. We bought and sold an absolutely massive amount of them. Uh, the UAs were the same. The, in case you missed it, guys, were similar. The 19, or the, I'm sorry, the 82s were low to begin with, so we didn't really, you know, mess with those. But again, you'll see the 83s are at 50K. You can snipe these out of the auction house and go ahead and sell them for more. These ones, again, looking for about under 45,000 coins. I want to be as low as possible. Um, even 45, there's some for about 49, so maybe 45 is not good enough. I'd go around 42,000 and then sell them for 49. Uh, anything under that, you'll make a nice little little profit on the conference stories. These ones also, though, the 82s were at 25,000 until that glitch happened, and everybody went out and bought that bundle, and it tanked all the 82s out to 19,200, the price floor. We need those to be removed as fast as possible. But you'll see the 83s are these are showing 70,000. I'm not buying that, right? I feel like that's uh let's see what that's actually. Let me just go to strong safety real quick and see what he's actually at. He's actually bottomed all the way out to 30,000 points. And there's a hundred of them on the auction house right now. All right, now the auction house is pretty dead too, so you don't really have to do a whole lot to filter down and see all the cards being posted up in a specific program. We'll see. Hopefully it picks up later on today. It is earlier in the morning right now as I record this. Uh, so we'll cross our fingers and hope that they go up again. Let's stay away from the conference stories. They're no good. But in case you missed it and the UAs are not bad, if you can find these guys at the right price, we have our first, uh, let's say somewhat coin method outside of just working the auction house and buying and selling stuff, flipping things. We have our first kind of method that we're going to talk about for college football ultimate team 25. And that's going to be these 82 to 83 overall sets. Or 80 overall players receive an 82 to 83. So many of these 82 and 83 overall players that you're getting out of these sell for an absolute ton. And you can get the 80s for really, really, really cheap. You're going to get them all for about 7.2 thousand coins a piece. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to filter down with. You can get, try to go through just, you know, 80, 81s and filter down a buy position. This gets really, really flooded because you can't filter out and get down to, you know, like core cards. You can only go by the new program cards. This makes it a lot tougher, and you can see how full a lot of these are. Wide receiver's not bad. That's at 9.1, but still way too high. I don't want to pay anything over 8 on these. You can uh, flip around and go to some of the programs, and these will give you cards that are a lot cheaper. See right here, we got a Ruben for 7.2 thousand. Perfect. We'll go ahead and snatch up as many of these we can find. They are high enough right now where you could actually just flip these, right, and make a little bit of coins. That's not bad. We'd make, you know, 3,000 off of that. 
I take that, but I kind of want to risk it and throw it into the set. That's it. Once you buy all these guys, you go in here, throw them in here, cross your fingers, hoping for something really good, right? Like an 83 overall offensive lineman, defensive lineman, a, a free safety, strong safety would be great. Uh, let's see what we get out of this one. I had some really, really good luck last night. I'll go ahead and show those in a second. This one we get an 82 kicker. Could have been a whole lot better. Um, you actually have to be somewhat unlucky to get one like this. We still see 34,000 coins last sold an hour ago. Was at 4 to the 19. Two looks like a nice little grab. We'll throw them up for 37 um, and see if we can get that off. Some of these you are going to have to sell multiple times, though. So, like, people just aren't on buying a ton of stuff like this right now. Um, so it does make it a little bit tougher. Here's one that I did last night. You can see that I'm going to open this one up. This is the first one I did of the night as chat was rolling me through this. Uh, 82, 83. I did get an 82 out of this. I was not thrilled by any means, right? I thought right out of the rip, you know, we tried this and we lost. Um, but then I went ahead and took a peek, saw that he was a lineman and he sold him for 50,000 coins. So we doubled up on our coins on our first one ever. And we just kept doing that from there and made an absolute killing all night long. We had one sell for 80,000 coins was great. That's it. Our first, you know, kind of method of the year. I'm probably going to keep trying to do this all day today. Um, for as much as I can, I'm going to jump on stream here a little bit and uh, test it out live. If you guys want to jump over on Twitch and follow me there, you know, we'll test this out. Keep giving it a shot. We'll see if we get any really, really, really good luck. It does get tougher as more people jump on and start, you know, doing this as always, right? Um, trying to grab up 80 overall cards for 7,200 when there are, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of people trying to do it. I really wouldn't touch any of these unless they are under 8,000. Um, I'm sorting my offense defense here. I don't really need to. They are, you know, locked in enough. Uh, there's not enough up there. As long as we're seeing, you know, over one hour here, we don't have to filter down any further. So in case you miss, it looks like they're up too high. Um, the conference stories does look like they are flooded up a little bit. We may have to even go down to position on these. Um, and we do not because we see over one hour here. So you can just kind of go offense, defense here and snatch these guys up when you come across them. So, I mean, not our worst first quote method of the year. So in our first, you know, so-called method of the year, it's easy enough. It is a little gamble, you know, with a lot of these tend to be right. They're never going to be guaranteed wins. We haven't had those in a long time since like the old school, like gingerbread, you know, sets back in the day. If you guys were popping around Madden back when, but go ahead, give these a shot today. If you want to, right. If you got a, you know, a couple thousand coins you can spare or at least mess around with, it's tough to really buy and sell a whole lot. And you can, you know, buy and sell higher overall cards those those are definitively flippable but you need to have a big stack um you know a big you know a bunch of coins to start that off i'd say probably at least six to seven hundred thousand and a lot of you guys are a lot lower than that right now i know people still are doing this team pack and you know getting some kind of luck out of them i'm not a huge fan just it's usually a small win if you do win a lot of times you'll just end up losing a small amount of coins or making a small amount of coins um that one gets a little tough for me that's not really what i you know how i prefer to run it i like the other stuff where i get in a much bigger bigger plus on it like here you know i just did one i'll do like one a day we have to buy a pack anyway just to see what it is um why not do it on these ones i've getting you know no luck out of some of the other stuff the uh you know that daily recruit pack i think my highest pull out of that's like a 74 i know their guys are getting 85s and 88s out of it and i'm just sitting here getting uh next to nothing but uh so we'll skip out on those but if you guys try out the set and you get some really, really, really good stuff, let me know. Um, like I said, again, I'll be doing it for most of the day over on Twitch. So pop over there and uh, we'll keep uh, grinding out the coins.